Hey everyone, it's Dave from Gamers on Games. Now, earlier today, uh, we had an incident with a new troll who, cheesy something or other, um, who ultimately was being so antagonistic we needed to ban him. Um, I made an announcement about it because here's the deal. Um, what I'm going to start doing from now on is, well, not even from now on, I've been doing it for a couple months now. Every time that we remove a thread, every time we um, have to remove a user, uh, we're announcing it because we want to make sure people understand that when people are removed, there's a reason. So we're showing the reason, we're explaining the reason. Now here's the thing. So when cheesy whatever it was um, got dealt with, I made a post about it. I said, listen, you know, we're, we're removing him and we will attempt to reinstate him in January of next year, you know, provided I'm alive because elections, we don't know how that's going to go. But here's the situation. Um, when I posted that, uh, another one of our users, Kenny, uh, said, I don't understand why you would give him a second chance. This is just a troll. This is all they do. Just remove him and move on. And I said, no, I kind of believe in second chances. So I think I've talked about this whole thing before. But if I haven't, I think it's a good opportunity for me to reinstate or um, not reinstate, reiterate what what my policy is and why I actually believe in second chances. So there's a couple fronts that this comes from. Some of them are from personal life experience, and I, I hate to say it, but some of them actually come from comic book ideals. So I guess let's deal with the comic book ideals first, because that's the least the more light of things. So in comics, most comic book superheroes are, have a no-kill rule. Um, one, it helps make sure that you don't run out of villains, but also it's a case of... I believe it was in a Spider-Man comic that, that this came up. It was a case of if somebody is taken out permanently, they can't get better. They can't amend, uh, they can't fix their ways, they can't redirect their life, and they can't make it up to the people they've hurt. And there's something in there that really struck me, and it has stuck with me ever since, and it's that. It's the fact that if you cut somebody off for, you know, eternally, nothing can be fixed. Um, and it's something I try to ascribe to. Now, I do have situations where I have had to take into consideration my own mental health, um, my own, you know, amount of spoons, I guess you want to call it, whatever the case is. It, I have realized that, you know, in deep contemplation of the situation, that um, trying to reestablish contact or trying to move past the problems is ultimately going to be a more of a negative for me than anything else. So I have severed the ties. I have cut them off and I've said, that's enough. I'm not going any further with this. And I don't look back on it. Others um, I have tried to reconnect with. I have tried to make amends or allow them to make amends. And the reason I'm actually very big on second chances, um, due to life experience, um, after my mother's passing, um, I went through a very, very dark period. I was absolutely not my best self. Um, I was very self-destructive. It was, it was a case of, I needed help, but I had been raised in such a fashion that asking for or pursuing help was frowned upon. It was viewed as a weakness. Think about every stereotype that goes into actually asking for mental help and mental services. And I had had that ingrained in me. Okay. So I literally had received the worst possible upbringing perspective and otherwise when it came to this. Once I finally started to level out um, and I realized the immense amount of damage I had caused, um, 
and I started reaching out to try and make amends to people, um, I realized that, um, I was very fortunate that a number of them actually were like, listen, yes, we understand you, you know, you went through a tough time. I, we see that you've gotten better. You're, you know, you've changed and you're ma you're trying to make amends and realizing, um, how thankful I was for them to give me that second chance. I realized I need to allow others to be given that same opportunity. So when you see me giving people like, listen, you know, I'm putting you in timeout. You're, you're going to be in timeout for a while, but ultimately I will give you another chance later down the road at a set date. Um, that's my means of giving people another chance. Now, if they decide, Hey, yeah, I'm going to, you know, I'm going to take that opportunity. I'm going to take that second chance. Right. If they decide, no, I'm going to go right back to the bad behavior. Well, either a, I put them back in timeout and we give them another opportunity later on, or we say, never mind. I'm sorry. You're gone. And that's, and you're not coming back. I find that to be the easiest manner of dealing with things. The reason I actually put a time limit on things is it prevents um, any anger, aggravation, upset, sadness, whatever the emotion is that's causing me to take this break from this person. It puts a time limit on it. So I can't let it just run away with itself and be like, oh, I'm going to rage forever. There's no point in that. That doesn't help anybody and it doesn't solve anything. So by putting a time limit on it, it tempers that reaction a little bit. The other thing is, is that if I don't put that time limit in place, um, it, it, I may forget about the person completely, which if it's somebody I'm, I'm hoping that we can make amends, that there could be a course correction. If I, if I forget about the person, that's not happening. Um, hell, if you look at the content of this channel, I'm very easily distracted. It's very obvious. Um, it's why we've never found a real niche. We've been all over the map since this channel was started. Um, hell, me even doing this is not really super game related, as people would criticize. Uh, but my point is, is that because I'm so easily distracted, forgetting about things I mean to get to um, is too easy for me. And by having a date and having a reminder set up, it does actually... Oh, pardon me. It does actually help me. So to those who needed an explanation, I hope this gives that proper explanation. I hope that maybe you can understand where I'm coming from. Uh, I'm not necessarily asking for you to agree with me. I am at least asking for you to try and understand my perspective and my position. So um, I will leave the comment section open. Um, I am going to put a filter in place. So if your comment does disappear, to understand um, that there is actually a manual filter now in place on this video. And that will, hopefully that'll explain why you may see your thing disappear. I'm not deleting it, but it will go into an automatic filter that I will go through and deal with um, as I have the opportunity, as I have the will and otherwise. But as we did have somebody call me out kind of, you know, to my face, about me taking this course of action, I felt that a more direct and full explanation of my thoughts, of my position, of my my uh, perspective was warranted, necessary, and hopefully will be appreciated. Thank you guys for watching this if you've gotten this far, and I will see you all next episode. Thank you, and uh, have a good one.